Our kids, Coach Addy and Parker here again. Again, in this session, we're actually going to be doing a lot of our touches going in a straight line and then quickly changing direction, going diagonally. And then after we've gone through the poles, we'll be going through our window using the sole of our boot. And this is, again, it's about muscle memory. As we talked about, it's about proper movement so that you develop the proper structure. Most soccer players in general do not lift weights. We become physically able because of our movement with a soccer ball. Our understanding how to move our feet, how to use our hands for balance, when to dip, when to go up a little straighter, when to lead with our left, when to lead with our right. Soccer players develop a muscle structure that way. That's why until you get old and you start coaching, you'll never see a fat soccer player, okay? So Parker is now going to start at this end. He's going to dribble through these six poles in a straight line. Then he's going to cut diagonally, dribble through these three poles through here. Then he's going to do multiple sole touches through the window, okay? All right then, kids. Now watch Parker's movement. Go. Ball there, Parker. Come back quick. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is about quick, solid, soft touches. It's about being able to use both feet. It's about proper movement, being able to turn on the ball quickly. You know, most soccer players in America want to win a hundred yard dash. Soccer is a game of 10 to 15 yard sprints. Okay, there's a definite muscle structure you need to play this game. Doesn't mean those muscles have to be big, but they must be defined and strong enough to be able to take the pressure of constantly moving like a soccer player. Have you noticed the touches are on both feet? In today's game of soccer, if you're a one-legged soccer player, you're easy to defend against. those two. Okay, go in the opposite direction. So kids, do you see the quickness of his feet? The acceleration off of the touch of the ball. Every time he touches it, accelerate into the space to immediately get your next touch with a quick touch on the ball. Accelerate into the space to quickly get a touch. Constant movement of your feet, constant movement. It's about the quickness of your feet so that the possession of the ball is greater. Okay, kids, have a good day. We'll talk to you soon. Get out of here.